Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details. Now, I get asked this question a lot. What are the best ways to attract customers to your business in a competitive world? Now, there are lots of ways. In fact, there's too many to talk about in a short amount of time. But there are some universal strategies and behaviors that virtually all of my most successful clients use in various industries and niches to attract new customers, whether they're patients or clients or art lovers or coaching clients to their businesses. But it doesn't stop with the word attract. You need to keep these new customers coming back, buying more or buying higher ticket offers for months and years to come. And I'll cover some of the most impactful and immediately useful strategies here but be warned making your business extraordinarily successful and growing your personal income will require a lot from you it takes work it takes a lot of effort and I do have coaching clients that I do one-on-one because sometimes you know those courses that you can get out there and they tell you yes I'm going to help you get your business online and all of that you know they're quite good But they're so, a lot of them waft on about, you know, things that you don't necessarily need to know. And, you know, I've had a lot of experience with this. I've had three businesses now. Two of them failed, I have to be honest. And I've got 17 years in marketing and communications and I've seen how big business does it. Now, big businesses, it may not relate to small and to medium businesses as well, but you can take the learnings from that. And that's what I do in my coaching sessions. I work one-on-one with you to find out what your brand is, what your goal is, what your vision is for your brand, who your ideal customers are. And I work with you so that you can get your business online in incremental fast steps so you streamline it it's really short sharp and concise and I give you homework (laughs) you get homework (laughs) you don't just get me doing it I give you the steps and each week or each month whether you sign up for a two-hour session or you sign up month to month I walk you through it, you know, but you have to do the work. And it's really rewarding to see my clients when they are successful, when they implement the work, right? It's so great to see them shine. Now, you do have to go against the norm and peer advice and all kinds of messed up personal beliefs that you hold about your business and sometimes yourself and the amount of success that you deserve. But most business owners and entrepreneurs can't stomach this. They always say they want to finally break break through in their business and enjoy a high income and more personal freedom and satisfaction, but they never ever make the changes necessary. They kind of ask for the step-by-step advice on how to grow their business and attract customers on autopilot and maybe implement 10% of the steps to see a bit of success, but never follow through with other strategies. Now, why do you think this is? Okay, let's look at it in a different way. Why do you still find doctors that smoke cigarettes when they know it's really unhealthy? Or why do you hear about people who are broke and going further and further into debt? Or why do you you see people eat and eat until they put on weight and then they complain about being overweight? There are two factors. It's overwhelm and it's fear. And it's completely normal to feel this. I mean, I've felt them. Everyone goes through that, especially when you're starting a business or you're a brand and you're or you're an entrepreneur. You do feel that. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or overly fearful about change and risk and you're more of a listener to information rather than an oriented doer, then no one can help you unless you're willing to help yourself. I mean, I know it's harsh, but it's true. And I'm going to give you four tips that can help you and your business get out of the dumps and into some good energy right now. But in case this is the first time you're listening or watching and you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself quickly. I'm Kari Watt. 
I'm a digital strategist with nearly two decades of experience in marketing and communications. It's my goal to help you achieve and exceed your marketing goals so that customers find your business online. For the best digital and social media tips to rank higher on Google search, subscribe to the Kari Cares podcast to make sure you never, ever miss out on these tips every Monday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Kari Watt to ask me questions about today's podcast. What are the best ways to attract customers to your business in a competitive world? So that's out of the way. Let's dive into some practical advice about how to grow your business in this hyper competitive economy now number one you need to find out your unique market position now business success and wealth creation begins by first answering a couple of deceptively simple questions why should your customers favor you over everybody else in your niche or industry and what makes you unique in the eyes of your customers You see, customers don't care how long you've been in business and they actually don't care that you're the best or you're a leading expert. They just want to know what's in it for them. So what can you provide that nobody else in your market can or will offer to your customers? And how can you formulate that answer in short, punchy and persuasive words that creates an irresistible offer to your target audience? I mean, the more specific, the more detailed, the better. And try to keep it short and memorable. Now, here's some actual real world tested results producing examples. Your house sold in 90 days or less or I'll buy it, guaranteed. Hot, fresh pizza in 30 minutes or it's free. Lose 25 kilos of weight in 60 days or get an entire membership year for free. Can you see where those sort of statements are going? They're offering you something that's unique and they're offering you a guarantee. So, you know, you want to buy from this. Again, don't be lazy about this, you know, really think about your unique market position. You know, it's it's really the underlying basis for all successful marketing and sales messages, whether it's your Facebook ads or whether it's, you know, Google ads or whether it's just a mission statement you want to put on social media or your website. Number two, you're not in the business of selling whatever it is that you're selling. And what I mean by this, a lot of my clients, they kind of trip over this a little bit because business owners are always in love with what they're selling and they don't think two steps ahead. Now, if you're a hairdresser, you're thinking about selling hair services, right? If you're an artist, you're thinking about selling artwork. If you're an osteopath, you think you're selling healthy joints. Now, that's not what people are really buying. I mean, don't get me wrong, of course, people want results. They want solutions to their problems. But the thing is, everyone in your market or industry offers the same solutions. They're obvious. If you want an unfair advantage and the ability to charge the highest prices while attracting more affluent customers, you have to start selling emotions. There, I said it. It sounds bad, but I'm going to explain it a little bit further. People primarily buy on emotions and use logic to justify their purchases. So another question you might ask yourself for maximum profits and customer attraction is how can I present my product and or service in a way that the primary emotion to my target audience wants to feel or avoid? Now, if that sounds too abstract to you, because it can be, go back to example number one, okay? For example, let's let's take a different industry. Now, if you're a plumber wanting to sell more of your services and products, how can you present your offer as a way to save, either save a truckload of money and avoid pain? So you could run a lead generation ad like this. Is your house safe from bursting pipes and dangerous leaks? Now think about that for a second. You might have kids at home or older parents at home, or you might be old. I wouldn't want a house, you know, with bursting pipes and dangerous leaks. And yeah, that ad would to get me to learn more. Now, number three, when everybody in your market zigs, you have to zag. Attract more qualified, ready to buy leads than ever. 
So a huge mistake I see more than 80% of business owners in Australia commit over and over again, and, and I see this in the UK and in America as well, is sticking to shitty business strategies and old marketing approaches and selling procedures. I mean, these don't work. I mean, they're using business to business selling strategies to their consumers. I mean, even the business to business, there's still a person behind that business. There's still a person that you are selling to. It's not just a business. There's people behind it. And they do this because everybody else in their market is doing it. I've got to tell you, you've got to stop. And I can almost guarantee if someone in your market is running a lead generation, we've been in business for 20 years, best website makers in town. Call us today and get a quote for a premium website. Now, no wonder you're thinking marketing and advertising doesn't work for me and is eating my money. That's the thing. Look at your ad. Look at the words you're using. Look at your target audience. Who are you talking to? First of all, who cares? Every man and their dog talks about how long they've been in business or how good they are. I mean, look at me. I always say 17 years. But the reason I do that, I think, is because a lot of you don't know me yet. And I've been in the corporate world for a long time. And I've also been on TV. So you know me on that side. So... Maybe I should stop saying 17 years. I'd love to know your your thoughts. Send me a comment at Kari Watt on Facebook or Instagram. Should I change my statement? Let me know what your thoughts are. When you think about headlines which pull the reader into the rest of an ad or on your website or on your social media, that makes them think, whoa, wait a second, I need to find out more. And if that wasn't enough, that ad literally repels perfectly qualified leads away by stating, call us today to get a quote. So do you know how this sounds for people, you know, reading it or watching it or listening to it? The first thought that would come to your mind is, oh my God, they want to sell me something over the phone. No time for that. It's kind of like an anti-advertising. So you need to be really, really careful about how you run your ads or what you say in your copy or what you're going to say to your customers. And, and don't run your ads the way everybody else runs them. Don't try to sell people in your ad. Remember the purpose of a lead generation ad or opt-in form is not to make a sale, it's to make a difference. It's actually to get the customer or consumer wanting to know more. This brings me to point number four, getting better at crafting your message or selling a higher quality product doesn't attract customers by itself. Now there's a huge misconception about what it takes to have an above average success in a business and that you have to have the best products or be the best service provider to enjoy an income explosion in your business. Now that's only about 10 to 20% of the success equation, I have to tell you. You have to listen carefully now because this is the golden nugget. Yes, your customers want value, obviously. They want a product, they want excellent service and all of that. And that's almost a given. You see, if you're truly the best and you're the highest skilled hairdresser in town, you can't really work your hair mastery magic if no one shows up to your shop, can you? Once a customer sits in your chair getting their hair cut and coloured to improve the way they look, then of course you're going to do an excellent job and wow them so they come back for more. But then again, which hairdresser can do that? practically all of them. Everybody in your market is roughly at the same skill level and will do a satisfactory job or sell a quality service. But if you don't have a system to get customers in the door, to make a purchase, then you can't show how good you are. You know, especially now with what we're going through right now, how do you get those customers in your door if you don't have a physical shop or you know, we're on social distancing. So what will attract customers to you that will let you unlock an explosion in your income and personal freedom? Well, it all starts with effective and a result producing marketing and sales. Now, as soon as you found out your unique market position, you can start targeting emotions and honing in on a specific audience in your messaging and use effective lead advertising. You'll have the right kind of people lining 
lining up and ready to buy from you or work with you. Now, if this all sounds a lot of work, which it is, and you want to learn how to do this in simple incremental steps that are no fluff and you don't know where to start, you can join my secret podcast where you get short, sharp, incremental steps of how to get your business online and you'll find the link below or you can head on over to currywatt.com and you'll find a link in the pop-up form that pops up on the front page or any of the pages or at the very bottom of the website you'll see a button and it's to sign up for it and then I'll let you know when the doors open you know you can get into contact with me either send me a direct message on social media at Kari Watt on Facebook or Instagram or comment on one of my posts saying that you want to do some coaching sessions and I'll let you know and we'll see if we're a good match because you might not like me or I might not like you I'm sure I'll like you and I'm sure you'll like me. So good luck with all of this. I hope this was really helpful. It would be great if you could give Curry Cares, if you haven't already, a review because it helps me understand how I can update this or change this. And they're really fun for me to read. So if you have already left me a a review, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you and I value you. So tune in next Monday for the social media update. And remember to like and share this with a friend or colleague who could use a helping hand. Why? Because Kari cares about women helping women and men who could use a helping hand. Until next time, peace! Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning OzCast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. OzCast. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details.